Hey guys, Vexio here, or Reporting Assassin, and today I will be showing you how to render your Roblox characters in Cinema 4D. Anyway, so first what you need is um a Google extension for Google Chrome. Yeah, you have to use Google Chrome. So uh, I'll just leave that in the description and then I'll show you how to use it in a second. Okay, so once you get the extension, you will see this in your bar, your all bar. You just click that, wait, hold on. Click that once, and then you'll see these three. Just click the middle one and then, yeah. Okay, so this is what we have. First, let me just take this away. This is what I do. I don't, I don't think you need to do this, but hey, let's just make it a simple pose. You don't really need this unless you really want it. I'll leave that in the description too. Uh, oh wait, let me just anchor this. And okay, that looks decent. Exports. Okay. Uh, right click, export selection. And you just put it in here, like in the folder you want. Name it, uh, let's see, uh, YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Whatever. Oh crap, I think the name. Okay, uh, now we're just gonna open it in Cinema 4D. See there. Okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D. And then first of all, you'll need to do with the file, press merge. Then just try and find the uh, try and find the um object file OBG file that you found. Yeah, it's right here. Can't believe I found it. Oh, uh, let's just shift and drag it up. Okay, okay. So you see it's all uh, gray. So um, to add the texture, just move circular. I don't I don't use that. I don't really like it. Uh, just. No, no. Go to the place where you saved it. Uh, and the texture should be there. I already, I, I um. But okay, I already have the texture here because I did this before. Yeah. So just find your tech, find your uh, skin, and then it should load by itself. Sometimes you see two textures just for the hat or something or whatever you exported. So it will probably export those pictures too. It has a mesh, probably. Okay, uh, you should know this is the button to render it. So it isn't that hard. Okay, it looks really bad, right? So, um, okay. What is it gonna be? Oh yeah. Okay, so first of all, I usually just add a sky on the floor. Actually, no, I don't do that all the time, but. In this case, um, yeah, I want to. Uh, it still looks bad, right? So first, what, okay, first what you do, I'll just change this to 180, 180, 90. Yeah, that's what I usually use. You should use it too. Uh, uh in the render, oh wait, hold on. In the render settings, you go to effect and ambient occlusion, and then effect again and a global illumination. Turn these to low. Samples to make it faster. So, I mean, that's what I was thought. That I was thought. And it looks, sh it, it should look like better ish. Let's just add a random white. Mm. And you can change the uh, light if you want. Uh, soft. That's what I would like. You can use ray shadowing if it includes the sun. The GFX thing. Okay. I think this looks pretty good, but such a shit shot. You don't have to do this. Mm. Just make it into the light. Okay, I think that's good. Let's try it. I'm off that. Um, I forgot to tell you one more thing. 
uh, to actually like record it. I mean, like save it to a PNG file or uh, Photoshop file. First, you go to render settings. You go to save. Then just change it to PNG if you want it to. If you just want a picture or a PS PSD file or Photoshop, you just press that. Put it where you want to save it. Other. Uh, um. And just there, pretty much it, and then press this. This is like this is just a preview render, render preview thingy, and this button is to actually render it to a picture or a PSD, PS, PSD file. And I'll just speed this up. Yeah. See you later, I guess.